If you're going on social media, it might come off as a bit of like I'm a bit of a fucking weirdo. I suck at messaging chicks. It's all the same shit. I'm more of a face to face guy. If you put me in front of a shorty, you back yourself. Oh, 100 percent. I'm gonna shout out off um, my FM. Saw that. Yeah. That made you happy as Larry. Oh right? yeah. Well, because gr growing up in NZ, you listen to my FM. 100%. You know, on the way to school after your dad just gave you a hiding. <laughs> nah. um, give me a topic real quick. Glizzy. Uh, I'm on my glizzy shit. Where's my dizzy bit? With the, with the, okay, sweet. Let's go. <laughs> hey, guys. Welcome back to Jordan's room. Um, I'm liking these solo missions at the moment, you know? Just in my feels. This is more just what's going on in my life, right? And um, <sighs> you're, in a, you're in a good place right now, though, bro. I said that to you when you walked in here earlier today. Uh, the yeah. energy is good. Yeah. So I'm going to... Thank I'm gonna, you. I'm going to open one last scar for one last time because... I'm getting sick of people asking about it. I know you are. A lot of people have been asking me about it, man. And um, Give us, give it to us, bro. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Tell me about the breakup, bro. Get it out there. Okay. One last final right, time. Yeah, this is the last time I'm going to talk about it, right? Because I like to keep my shit private. You know what I'm talking about? Do you? Pardon me? Do you? Come on, man. You know I'm the most private in this whole, whole group. Um, respectfully. Anyways, so um, yeah, obviously I'm single now. I don't know if you guys know, but um, yeah, the breakup, you know, made a made a pretty big mistake, and um, sometimes it's it's hard to come back from these things. Is one of the reasons why I stopped drinking um, and just focusing on, you know, just all the all the thing that things that matter in my life at the moment, man. How is sober semi going? Because you look good, skin's better. Did you notice that? Because your skin yeah. was um. Let's yeah, the honest. skin was getting bad. It yeah. was getting bad. Skin was getting bad, felt like a little bit like unhealthy, you know, like no sleep. I, I already struggled from sleep and yeah, getting no sleep, but I know, bit bro. Of, a bit in that. No. Um, but man, yeah, the, the breakup was hard for me, you know, because it's, it's not, not all the time you get to meet someone that you vibe with. And, um, you know, you just make, make stupid mistakes when you're on the grouse um, and drinking all the time. So um, it's just a lesson learned, you know. Hopefully, down the track, we can be friends again. <laughs> um, um, but, yeah, no, uh, uh, man, the sober semi-buzz has been really good, man. I've, I feel, honestly, um, you know, something came past down my ways the other day that usually would make someone sad. Um, Do you want to talk about that? You can keep I just, see, I, just, I, just, I just put two and two together, really, yeah. something that I've seen. Down that, by the that, beach. that would usually upset you. That would have, yeah, would have really upset me. Um, put put two and two together, and it didn't affect me at all. Actually, you called me straight after, and you said, "Bro, I just this thing just happened." And usually, I'd be quite dark on it, but yeah. I feel good. No, I felt really good, man. And I was saying to Hozzy, we were just sitting there, um, waiting, waiting for our morning banana bread and coffee, um, <laughs> double shot almond cat with one sugar, thanks. And um, I just was like, I just looked at Hozzy with a bit of. Um, few tears in my eyes after I seen what I seen and I just I said to him man this is the happiest I've ever been mm. I just feel like I've just a lot of clarity around what's going on in my life right now and I'm just um just happy bro I'm just really happy eh? I went out on the weekend too didn't drink I know I was actually very impressed with that <laughs> there, there may or may not have been people talking behind your back about he's not gonna last <laughs> there's yeah, no, no way you can I do know. this but you did it on the Red Bulls as well yeah bro I was was on the <laughs> I was on the Red Bulls man and um it felt good man and um What's the chat like? Like, because I, I would assume, you know, you go all right. With, you go all right with the girls anyway, but I yeah, assume I a, bit of, a bit of liquid courage always helps. But how'd you find it? Well, usually I'd get on the piss and have a fucking bit of burly on me, right? Mm. So you don't really need to talk much. But being sober, it's different. Mm. You've got to. Well, do you want to know how I did it? Yeah, of course. <laughs> it's your show. It's what I want to know. You, when you're sober, right? You're just sitting there, you're chilling, doing your thing. I just went for the, the sad card. Shorty comes up to me, hey, what's wrong? And I'm like, nothing. I'm just sad. And before you know it. Just, just introducing you to the parents, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty much it. But yeah, no, we went to Wharf Bar and Manly. Fuck, it was pretty kiddies, to be honest. Um, it, was, it was like a little bit better than Cronulla, but I definitely most likely won't be going out there again. Um, but... 
Yeah, no, so being sober is probably the best thing that's happened to me in a long time, man, and the <laughs> best decision, decision I've made. So, How long are we at, how long are we at now? About two and a half weeks, something like that? Uh, we're on 21 days right now. Not the, not the accounting. But yeah. I'm counting every day, yeah. <laughs> I've got a calendar in my room. Um, speaking, um, of, speaking of counting, you're back on the dating apps. We I've been going to counseling too. Oh, uh, well, yeah, start to touch on that. How's that going? I love to touch on these things because I, I get heaps of people messaging me about this shit, right? Mm. And... Um, you know, sometimes people use like drinking and shit for like a, a band-aid of what's really going on in their life. And I think there was a few things that happened, you know, in, in the those weeks that I got on the, when I went on the big, big fucking binge bender. And then, um, yeah, it's been going to counselling, man. And I was always nervous to go to it, but I was like, I'm like, fuck, I'm just going to give it a try. A few people pushed me in the right direction. And I'm, honestly, it's really helped. What do you, what do you sort of things, you know, I'm not your counsellor, but. Aren't what you? do you touch on? I feel like you are about <laughs> four a.m. in the morning. Yeah, um, man, we're just touching on. You like, go like all the way back, or like? Oh yeah, yeah. Is yeah. that a cliche? Is that cliche? Like the they say, take me back to your nah, childhood. Nah, nah, it's not like yeah. Do. It's weird, bro, because like a lot of things back back in the past, like being uh, growing up and shit, mm. that hasn't only just resurfaced like in these last few years. So um, it, it was good, man. Yeah, you take them back and you talk to them about all that shit and. Um, it's good. To, it's good to talk to someone that sort of you don't know. Yeah. So, you <laughs> yeah. know what I mean. They just give you the advice of doom and mm. kick you out. But nah, <laughs> um, yeah, it was good, man. We talked about that. Talked about sort of just the drinking and the partying all the time and what the, the real issues are. So I do. I, I would say if people are looking to do that sort of shit, um, definitely give it a crack, eh? Because it helps. Yeah, go. And you can still pick up chicks without drinking too. So speaking on picking up chicks, um, I know the dating apps. Probably isn't your strength, let's be honest. Um, but I know you're back on Hinge. Tell me a little bit about the first couple of experiences on there, bro. Oh, bro. Um, it's tough out there, isn't it? Yeah, I've been on, I've been on Hinge in the past, mm. right, and or other dating apps, Bumble, Tinder, and it's like it's so many conversations going on at once. If, you, if you're you know, attractive or whatever, you're getting hit up by so many people that – the conversations all start to look the same, like how how are you, how's your weekend, all that shit, um, you know. So and small talk, like I'm not trying to insult you here. No, no, it's, I, it's, no, no, no. It's no. probably not your strong suit, is it? Well, I'm good at small talk face to face, but if you're going off, um, can't be asked or what? No, nah, if you're going on social media, it might come off as a bit of like I'm a bit of a fucking weirdo. <laughs> you know what I mean? Really? Yeah, I, I like, wouldn't have expected that, bro. No, <laughs> I'm just straight up, bro. Like, if I want something, then I'll say it, you know? I'm like, if I want to take a check out on a date or if I want to go watch a movie, I'll just be straight up and that's just the way it should be. But you got to fucking uh, jump through all these hoops. How's your weekend? What's your star sign? Like, what's your favourite colour? All that shit. And I'm just like, fuck, man. This what's is your um, What's shit. your star sign info like? Are you pretty up to date with all I'm not star up signs? to date with it, but my one tip for this podcast, if you're going to take anything from it, is know your star signs. Because it's 2021. you ask you the to. girls first, right? Mm. Majority of the time, every girl that I've been on a date with or I've been seeing or whatever, they're into that shit. So if you know your star signs, there's two things you can do. Either you can lie about your own star sign, <laughs> right? You can lie about your own star sign just to match their star sign. If, you just, if it's just like a one night stand thing. And I mean that respectfully too. Of course, everything okay? respectfully. Hand on heart. Um, or... You know, it's if you're into star signs yourself, then it might match up with, hmm. you know, you see if, it, if they're a match. And, and they'd be it, interested in They'd be like, fuck, this guy knows his, what are they called? Star signs? No, like horoscopes. Yeah, shit yeah like the that. scopes. Even that's, your that's Chinese star is, sign. What's yours? My Chinese star sign? Yeah. I'm not sure, sorry, bro. I'm a Leo. Don't what know what the fuck that means. Well, that's what I mean, man. you gotta you got to dabble in that shit. Yeah. Like oh. mine's a monkey, oh. <laughs> ironically. <laughs> um... Speaking of monkeys, swinging into DMs, you're going to have to change your approach a little bit now, bro. You, you've gotten a bit older. You're a bit more mature, even since I've known you. Um, you're back now in the single game. DMs are part of life. You know that in yeah, the dating yeah, world. Yeah. What's your approach? How's your approach going to be different now? No dog emojis, I'm sure. Man, I, unless the chick's keen on me, I suck it. I suck it. I suck at it. Mm. I suck at the small talk. I suck at... Uh, I suck at messaging chicks. It's all the same shit. I'm more of a face-to-face guy. If you put me in front of a shorty, you back yourself. Oh, 100%. Like, I'm oozing with confidence and anxiety at the same time. <laughs> so, I don't know. Like, um, I think I think with the podcast and the stories as well, 
people get a good gauge of what type of person I am. Mm. So, and it's no character as well. I'm just a weird cunt. I know a lot of people asking me all the time, um, when does he drop the act? Like, what's he like just normally? I'm like, nah, unfortunately, this is him. This is me, man. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just out there. You know, I just, I feel like I'm normal, but maybe you guys are the weirdos. I think you know, so, yeah. Maybe you guys are just stuck in the matrix and I'm out here being Neo. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Um, last one I wanted to touch on you because um, I know that you're you're a bit of a simp yourself, so I can assume that being toxic and um, hitting the old exes up is something that if you're not doing it, you've probably thought about it. Um, well, what's your thoughts around that space and, and have, you, have you stooped to that level yet? Instead of messaging me at 4 a.m., why don't you hit up one of the old flames, bro? Well, this is the thing, man. Right. <laughs> This is the thing, bro. You like, you go, you go to what you, you what you know, right? So when you break up with someone, you go for one, you're horny. Mm. You wanna, you obviously wanna have sex, right? But you don't. If you don't sleep around like myself, then you wanna make sure it's someone that you're comfortable with that you know, right? And I've made this mistake before going back to an ex, but personally, I don't think going back to an ex, going back to an ex is the right thing unless you did them wrong. Um, but, you know, I've had the, the experience, you, you miss you, you, you run into your ex, you see them, fucking everything's popping off. You're like, yeah, some, some the good memories are coming up. But you then forget the bad. Over two weeks, you know, you're waking up in the morning, you're an early riser, they like to sleep and be lazy. <laughs> turn over, you're like, fuck, man, this cunt's ugly as fuck. And I'm talking from a girl's perspective too. <laughs> and you're like, shit. And then you're like, hey, let's go for a walk. Let's go get breakfast. It's about 6.30 in the morning, you know. You, you like to get after it early before the sun comes up. And they're like, oh, I'm tired. And just little shit like that, man. And, like, and then it starts to, you, you start to remember that they cheated on you. It's an X for a reason, isn't Sorry. it? <laughs> I got lost there. Um, you remember that they, they cheated on you. They lied to you. They, you know what I mean? They owe you money. But, <laughs> but um. You know, you, people go through those phases. But for me, man, I, I'd say, nah, don't go back to the ex unless you fucked up and you got the opportunity to fix it. Mm. And she's got that glizzy. <laughs> How's everything else going, bro? People want to know just quickly before we wrap this up, the leg, the kennel, bro, the life. Honestly, what else is going on, bro? I swear to God, man, like after the, the you know, the fucking partying of doom, mm. making that mistake, I have changed my life so much and I've just been like, but like the legs healing quickly, um, back at work, podcasts, vlogs are popping, um, talking to fucking cunts about sponsoring, all that shit. Mm. Um, you know, Scope just got signed up, which is grouse. Um, Shows there's a pathway for you as well, man. Well, man, Come it's, just, it's exciting, bro. bro. Well, I mean, I, I, you, you'd see it coming, obviously. Yeah. But um, it just it's, just it's just good to know, you know. It makes me want to work harder and stuff like that, so... I'm um, got a shout out off um, my FM. Saw that. Yeah, that made you happy as Larry. Oh right? yeah. Well, because gr growing up in NZ, you listen to my FM. 100. You know, on the way to school after your dad just gave you a hiding. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you know, just for for Teeks to like, you know, chuck me up like that. It was cool. Like it was. I reckon. Did you enjoy the the blogging side of it? Because obviously, podcasting is natural to you. You bro, can vlog easy. But yeah, how well, easy was the blogs? It's fine. Okay, eh? can I tell them? Of course. Okay, so all right. If you guys must know. I'm dyslexic. Can't spell to save my life, right? Um, you could ask me to spell my name at fucking... You spell it G-L-I-Z-Z-Y. <laughs> I spell it with a fucking G. <laughs> Flash Gordon. No, um, and so, like, Jack has obviously come on board and we just, like, I've got so much good shit in my head. Even, like, when you used to live back in NZ, I'd be like... I go, bro, I can't. Like, you'd be like, send me a little this and that. And I'll be like, no, 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 no. I can't do that. I'm Very more. similar. What I'm seeing here, similar to the DM game, similar <laughs> to the blogs. You can't do it yourself, yeah. but if someone helps you. So all I do is I'll ask Jordan, hey, bro, what do you think about today? You give me three minutes of conversation and we can turn it into it. 100%, yeah. yeah. So We'll do plenty yeah, more of that. So Jacko actually writes all of these things. He puts my weird thoughts into, into onto, onto one paper. So grateful. Grateful as. Um, but that, bro, that popped off, eh? Like, mm. so many people sent it to me. And people it's all honest the, as well. On it's the piss all, asking you about the slow cooker of doom. And bro, so <laughs> many people. Like, even in Manly, they're like, hey, where's the slow cooker and shit like that? And I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck are these cunts talking about, man? But, yeah, no, no, grateful as for that. But, yeah, those those are a giggle, man. Because, like, vlogs, vlogs obviously do well. But 
they're just really short and sweet. Mm. Um, so you can st- like you still have your long form content like this. Yeah, You've got the vlogs. It's just another yeah, exactly another arm to the semi business, isn't it? Exactly, man. And I think it's um it's also like a bit of a difference as well from what what the other boys do too, because not no like mm. like the others don't really do many blogs. No. If they do, it's boring as. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so. Yeah, bro, that was fucking good. We just did another one. And what else is going on? Um, Anzac weekend. I know Plans. Anzac weekend's usually usually a big one for me, right? See, I don't know that because obviously back home it's like, it's just nah, it's a chill. full day. It's chill, yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. Fuck, they get, they get lit over here. But Sick. I love Anzac day. love playing two up. love getting fucking pissed as and playing up. But I'm actually going away to Scotland Island this weekend to, to our family, um, family like, pad. True. Yeah, like a holiday house. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. Oh, wow. It's right on the water, um, taking a little crew up there. So maybe I might might be able to meet a shorty before them. She can come up with me, come fishing and shit. Vlog it all. Yeah, going to vlog it all. Um, you know, maybe go to a few private beaches up there on the tinny. See what happens. A few bit of grouse. Nah. But yeah, that's about it, man. That's all I'm doing right now, bro. Cool, brother. All right, man. I think that'll wrap us up for today, eh? Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Right. Do you want to sing us out? Can I start? <sighs> Never mind, I'll find someone like you. I wish nothing but the best for you too. Don't forget.